in the steamy jungles of Africa, in the mosaic jungle, there were lots and lots of animals teeming with various species, some extinct. There were antelopes everywhere. There were long-legged hunting hyenas. <laughs> they were birds bigger than this room. What? There were saber-toothed tigers. <laughs> and these short-necked giraffes that roamed this place. Your mother. <laughs> Among these animals, they were the little Australopithecus, these short little hominids that were 1.5 meters tall. 1.5. <laughs> they walked upright like we do. They had the same dental formula. But they did not think like we do. Their brain capacity was only 450 cc, and we are all at 14. <laughs> You're smart. Their, their, theirs is only 450 cc, we are at 1450 cc. These are the Australopithecus. Among these great creatures was a special kind of Australopithecus that we are going to call Mama Hominid. <laughs> Mama Hominid was expecting something special, and it was coming fast. Baby Hominid! Baby Hominid grew faster and faster and faster and faster. became very, very curious. She forgot about the dangers of the African jungle. The same with the cat. Ching 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 ching! The African hawk eagle! Ha! The African hawk eagle took little baby home and flew all the way to the sky. And was killed by an African hawk eagle. Scientific evidence showed that about two million years ago, the little town child skull had these marks of these red, 14 inch red talent that was stuck onto the back of the skull. Went all the way up to the sky. They dropped it and it died two million years ago. But two million years later, two million years later, two million years later, People everywhere are looking for the missing link. Are you the missing link? 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 What is this missing link? This creature that would have features of man and that of ape and would resemble the great ancestor, the ancestor they broke away from about seven million years ago. All around the world, people were looking for it. Everywhere, the French were looking for the missing link. We are looking for uh, what you say. How do you call it? Uh, it's like an uh, egg. It's like an egg, but it's, it's a uh, uh, missing uh, link. It's like a man and a uh, uh, missing link. A uh, missing link. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Every single country in the world wanted to be the first to find the missing link. We find it. Of course. Of course. We look in the same river, uh, the bank there, and we can find. Of course. Of course. Dakar, Dakar. And even the Americans were looking for this missing link. The president is here. The president. The president, the president is here. Make space for the street. The president. Mr. President, have you found the missing link? Uh, no. Uh, but we believe uh, that um, the land of the free and the home of the brave will also be the cradle of humankind. We will find the weapons of mass evolution. <laughs> uh, yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> People everywhere were looking for the missing link. The missing link. The missing link. Where is the missing link? Even in China. China. Chinese were looking for the missing link. <laughs> 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 
until later. In 1936, a Scotsman arrived in South Africa. Hey, I'm well blue. <laughs> the Scotsman was very, very excited about it. We're gonna blow up all this here, we're making a weird little hole there, and then we're gonna look all around this area here. What's it? Good catch. <laughs> Out of there came the skull. The first adult skull of an Australopithecus. And this began to prove that Africa could be the cradle of humankind. I will call it uh, Mrs. Plus. <laughs> Skeptics were now reviewing the Piltdown Man back in England. It was proved to be a hoax. Would you care to describe the Piltdown Man for us? Right. Now that we have the town child and uh, what it appears is that that, that particular muscle had. <coughs> The jaw of a human being with teeth filed down and the cranium <laughs> of an ape. So, in fact, it was a hoax. <laughs> this was clear that South Africa was truly the cradle of humankind. More and more fossils came out of here. Scientists around the world were finding more and more fossils. Little foots and the likes. Sediba, Carabo. People were discovering lots and lots of fossils. Thousands and thousands of species were coming out of this country, proving that Africa was the cradle of humankind. It was officially named the Cradle of Humankind in 1999. As a World Heritage Site, Sturkentine Cave became the mother of all sites, the world's richest hominid fossil site. This is the story of the cradle.